Ethiopia, the nation of fairness, the symbol of freedom, the origin of mankind. Ethiopia Today is the English language news channel which brings the latest from Ethiopia, mainly focusing on economy, digitalization, culture, history, tourism. The UN will even let TPLF assault and detain their workers, says Jeff Pierce. Jeff Pierce is historian, novelist, career surrealist. The author of books, namely, Prevail, The Karma Booth, Winged Bull, a bio of Henry Layard, the Victorian era's Indiana Jones. On his recently published article, he continued to report about the existing harassment of Ethiopian UN staffs who are against the atrocity of TPLF. If something comes, no one will protect me. Sources say TPLF soldiers have been harassing, beating, and detaining Ethiopian staff for the UN and contracted workers sometimes for days with UN senior officials letting it happen and refusing to go public. According to a source, a child protection specialist for UNICEF in the Mekali area was snatched by the TPLF while heading from the work compound to his personal quarters in mid-July. It was only after he went missing for about three to five days that the UN realized what had happened, and that their staffer had been beaten and was being held by TPLF soldiers. The staffer was later reassigned to the Afar region. But while UN officials discussed what happened to him at a meeting, the episode was not included in the regular internal reports that cover security incidents. Nor did the UN go public, added Jeff Pierce. A contracted worker in Shari was also regularly harassed in July. Again, the UN didn't bother to log the security incident on its internal reports. I reached out to the individual who works for UNICEF and was assaulted, but they told me, I'm not ready to talk about my experiences in Tigray before quickly hanging up, says Jeff. Nevertheless, a second independent source confirms it was common knowledge among UN staff that an Ethiopian worker for UNICEF was mistreated and interrogated for hours by the TPLF. Why isn't this in the UN's records? Applying a double standard is apparently business as usual for the organization, Jeff continued. A truck driver detained for a day in the Afar region made it into the security reports, but serious incidents when the TPLF are the culprits can get a pass. The child protection specialist who was reassigned is Armhara. The contracted worker is Oromo. One source believes that's not a coincidence, it's based on ethnic background. The TPLF are targeting staff and contracted workers of other ethnicities, harassing them, and if that kind of pressure won't work, they will snatch them up and detain them. When the UN shows up to negotiate a staff member's release, the TPLF will make letting them go contingent on the staffer being reassigned out of the region. These attacks carry massive implications for how the UN is operating in Ethiopia. The Ethiopian government just recently declared seven senior UN officials persona non grata and kicked them out for spreading disinformation and helping the TPLF. But as I reported October 5, an internal email demonstrates that UN staff even look the other way while the TPLF carry out forced recruitment in IDP camps, and they also ordered workers not to attend recruitment events or take any photos or video of recruitment activities, he added. Thanks for your time. If you enjoyed our presentation, please give us a like, and share this to others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified as soon as we upload new videos. And also feel completely free to comment. Thanks again.